hello guys welcome back to the show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix star wars jedi survivor is having fatal access fatal error or access violation error or even low fatal error or ue4 crashing error which is happening for some of the users and how we can fix this error. we can try these steps in both steam as well as if you are trying to play the game with ea we can also try over here both things are going to work for you guys so i have tried some of the steps which did work it for me so i'm going to add this as well so you can try this out as well so the first one if you are on the steam or whatever it maybe you can try on the both the things so first step what you have to do is just have to try with a simple restart sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue that is what you have to try out for that you just have to go over here in the start click over here in this one go for a restart after restart is successfully done just try to play the game that is what you have to do so restart in your computer did work it so try with a simple restart this is actually not a technical uh, fix but in, this is not a, a technical step just do a restart this did work it for me for some of the games so try with simple restart after restart is successfully done and if you are having the issue the next one is all about we need to end the ea app and you have to close the ea app from the task manager for closing the ea app just go over here at the top on this 3 dot 3 uh, horizontal icon at the left top left then go over here go for exit once you done with the exit you just have to go back right click over here move to the task manager now from here you just have to open this and if you find the ea over here which is actually running so just right click and go for end the task once you done with the end the task just close everything now you just have to go back once again i mean you have to open the ea app once again once after that go over here and click on the play button and try to play the game this did work it for some users because i found this on the reddit so you can try this out move to the next one is all about you have to close ea app and you have to repair the ea app as well for closing the ea app like i said just go over here at the top click on this top left horizontal line just go for exit the app once you exit the app you just have to go over here go for control panel just search for control panel just open this now from here you just have to go for apps you can find apps somewhere here program and features not apps now from here you will be getting ea app you can see that just right click and go for uninstall when you go for uninstall you will be getting another option there is an option called uh, actually this is close the ea app to continue so here i have already opening this so that is why i had the error so what i need to do just click on this and go for uninstall so when you go for uninstall you are getting an option for repair so just go for repair so when you go for repair this is going to take a little bit of time but make sure this is an important step so instead of you should not be uninstalling the game just uninstall the game over here in the uh, program and features you'll be getting an option to repair it so just go for repair it once you done with the repair app once you done with the repair app successfully just open the ea app once again then try to play the game this did worked for many users and you can try this out so i found this particular step from the community forum so you can try this out as well this did work it for many users and you can try this out so this is how you need to try when you're having an issue with this so you have to sign in back so once after that just sign in back and once after that just try to play the game this did work it for many users and you can try this out as well now just go over here in the library now from here go to the library and try to play the game and that is going to work for you like a magic and that is what we have to do so this is what you have to do just try to play the game moon to the next one is all about you have to try with use origin to repair ea app and that is what you have to try out you need to use origin to repair the ea app for that you just need to go over here so i'll be providing a link in the description that will be to take you to this so over here if you go to the link in the description now keep scrolling down and you're getting an option to right now this is how it looks like you need to keep scrolling down and from here you will be able to find download origin for mac not this one just click over here now get the copy link address instead of downloading just get the copy link address now go over here go to google once again now you just need to do like this go over here now just paste this one paste this address and over here instead of mac just change this to pc just change this one to pc and press enter so now as you can see it has been uh, downloading so once after that just open this and install it now open when it is done i mean you just have to open this and go for run 
so you should be running this on i mean install this and once after that try to play the game and you need to install it and you have to give all the details over here now go everything and this is actually installing the origin so this did this particular one that is using the original to repair the ea app this particular step did work it as well so you can try this out so let this get completed in between so we will move to the next step that is all about we need to clear ea app cache which is an important step for that what we need to do is we just need to do like this that is all you have to do is you just need to do is we just need to go over here that is we just need to go over here go to ea app so right click and go to open file location now from here go to ea app recovery right click and go to properties now from here go to compatibility now from here in the compatibility what you need to do is you just need to run it as an administrator ea app you should be run this as an go for apply and go for okay now when you go for this one this should work for you or you have to uh, open this now it is asking you for a clear cache just double click on this after running this as an administrator so just go for clear cache and once after that clear cache is done you have to uh, restart your pc as well as try to restart your pc once after that try to play the game once again and that is going to work for you as well this is what you have to do and this did work it for many users and you can try this out as well so this is what you have to do Moving to the next one is all about we need to move to the next step that is all about the next step is all about we need to verify and repair game file for repairing the game file we just need to go over here if the game is available on the ea app you should be able to get the game on the library but in my case the game is available in the steam so i'll go over here so i'll show you you can try this out so just select the game right click and go to properties now go to local file there is an option called verify integrity of game file so just click on the verify integrity of game file then what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 129 gb so that's going to take a lot of time so once after that just uh, uh, go for this one and once you're done with this one just close everything now try to play the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed and this is what you have to do as well Moving to the next step, what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to launch the game from the exe file. So if you're on the EA app, you can get the library over here and you will be able to find the library from here. So you'll be able to find the game, then you can just uh, do it up according to yours. But if you're on the Steam, hence the game is available for me on the Steam. Just right click over here, go to properties, click on the local file. There is an option called browse, which very easily redirected to us to the installation folder if you check at the top that is this pc local to see program file x86 steam steam apps common jedi survivor so from here i have to go to sw game now from i have to go to binaries go for win 64 now i just have to launch the game from the installation folder instead of launching the game from the steam or ea app try launching the game from the installation folder that is what you have to do Moving to the next one is all about we need to uncheck the administrator in EA app exe and also if it's already unchecked then try launching the EA app as an administrator. So this is what we have to do. So what you need to do is you just need to go over here just close everything. Go over here in the search go for uh, open file location. Now from here what you need to do is you just need to uncheck and try launch the EA game as an administrator. So over here you can see so just right click. Go to show more options, go to properties, compatibility. Now unrun this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Once after that, go to the EA app and try to play the game. So here the game is not, for me, the game is not available. So that is why I'm getting this. So, but for you, some of you guys are already there in the, if you're on the EA, you'll be having the game. So just uh, do like this. And once after that, you, uh, you have to go, uh, once you're done with this one, then you just need to go back and try to play the game next one is all about we just need to do is we just need to do like this that is all about you have to make sure one more thing uh, over here if the game is uh, if the ea app is i mean if you go to the open location and if the game is un i mean the ea app is run this program as administrators enabled you have to uncheck this as well that is an important step which you need to try out as well and once after that try to play the game moving to the next one is all about it is all about if you're having any additional controllers and it's already connected for example if you're having additional controllers you have to disconnect it and also make sure if you are having any un uh, things like usb uh, things like unplug uh, the pedals 
wheels, mouses, etc. Just remove everything and that is also an important step. You should be removing everything and once after that try to play the game. And this is an important step, you should be disabling the Steam overlay. So if you have the game is on the Steam, then just go over here, right click and go to properties. Now over here, if you find this one, enable the Steam overlay while in the game, this should be unchecked. This should be grayed out actually. This should be unchecked, that means it is disabled and once after that, try to play the game. That did work out for many users as well. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to perform a clean boot. For that, just go over here in the search and we need to perform uh, go for system configuration now from here go to services now from here go for hide all microsoft services and go for disable all this might ask you for restart sometime if they are asking for a restart like this just go for restart here we are in the middle of video so i'm gonna exit this so once after restart is successfully done just try to play the game next one is all about we need to delete the config file if it's already there not the saved game file for that just go over here in the file explorer go to this pc go to local disk c now from here we need to go to users now from here we need to go to over here from the users we need to select uh, the test one that is in my case this one now from here i have to find app data i have to find app data i have to find local and over here if i find anything over here that means star wars if it's the game is saved i'll be getting sw over here as you can see the sw game is already there so just open this now as you can see it is saved so just go for the saved folder now from here this is the configuration so folder i have to delete this so just go for delete this after deleting the configuration file just go back and try to play the game this did work out for few users as well next one we need to delete the uh, saved game file so deleting the configuration file and saved game, game file is actually different for deleting the saved game file just go to this pc now from here go to documents and here you will be find the star wars sw star wars i mean jedi will be here the folder will be named on jedi if you find the folder just delete it once after that just close everything and go back and try to play the game moving to the next one is all about we need to change your display refresh rate to 16 hertz for that just go over here in the search go for settings now from here go to system go for display now from here what you need to do go for advanced display and over here you will be able to find the options like this okay there are two options 13 hertz and 16 so change this one to 16 hertz once after that go back and try to play the game this did work out for many users as well and you can try this out moving to the next one is all about we need to use steam and close the ea app so right now i'm trying to play the game as you can see i play the game around 17 minutes with uh, star wars jedi survivor on the steam not on the ea so if i'm trying to play the game with the steam then i need to close ea app i have to close the ea app purposefully and if i'm trying to play the game on the ea then i need to close the steam purposefully so this is what you have to do either anything should one should be on and another should be closed if you're trying to play the game with Steam, then close EA app. And if you're trying to play the game with EA app, then close the Steam as well. Then try to play the game. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that, we just need to go over here. We need to go to control panel. So just search for control panel. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Now go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and we need to find whether Star Wars is already added. Most probably it will be added. So if it's not added, then we just need to add it manually. As you can see, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is actually added and make sure both the private and public is checked. Once after that, if it's not added, just click on allow another app. We need to navigate to it manually. So go for browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk C, keep scrolling down, navigate to program file x86, scroll down to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps, now go to common. Now from here, we just need to go to Jedi Survivor. Now from here, go to SW game, go to binaries, go to win 64. Here is this one. So just open it and add it. So once you add this successfully, make sure it is both the private and public should be marked. And once after that, just close everything, go back to the game and try to play it as it is. Moving to the next one, we need to run the game as an administrator. For that, just go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. I have already added it because I made a video on graphics settings. I mean, on the crashing issue. So over here, it's already added. So uh, once you added it successfully, you don't have to worry anything. So if it's not already added, we can add it manually. So just go for browse, go to this PC, go to local disk C, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86, go to Steam folder. 
sorry go to steam folder go to steam apps go to common now from here you just need to go to uh, over here just go to star wars okay uh, it is not this one go to jd uh, jedi survivor go to sw game binaries win 64 select this one and add it so over here it's already added just go for options and make sure this will be let windows decide change this to high performance or else there will not be any use change this one to let windows decide should be changed to high performance go for save and close this and go back and try to play the game moving to the next one is all about we need to disable the full screen optimization for that just go over here in the search go to this pc go to local c go to program file x86 Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Go to Steam apps once again. Go for common once again. Then we just need to go to JD Survivor folder over here. Just find JD Survivor folder here. <clears throat> Where is it? I can't find it actually. So okay, sorry. Now from here, go to SW game. Go to binaries. Win 64. Now select this one. Right click and go to show more options. Go to properties, compatibility. Now from here, the first thing what you need to do is just run the game as an administrator. That is what you have to do. Go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. If this is not working, we need to make one more change. That is, we need to disable the full screen optimization. So just go over here, right click and go to show more options, properties, compatibility. And the disable full screen optimization should be selected and go for apply and go for OK and close everything and go back and try to play the game. This did work for many users as well. Now this is what you have to do. Moving to the next step is all about we need to update the graphics card manually. For that, just go over here. So I'll be providing link in the description for the NVIDIA users as well as for the AMD. NVIDIA users, just go over here. Select the details. Product type should be selected. GeForce product series should be selected. Product and operating system should be selected. Go for start search. And if you find start search over here, you'll be able to find this. The version is 531.68, which is released on the April 18, 2023, which is the latest one. So just download this one. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select the graphics details over here. Now go for submit. And once you go for submit, you'll be getting two options. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. And once after that, just download and install this. Moving to the next one is all about what so once after that, we just need to move to the next one. That is, so once after trying with all these things, we need to move to the next step. That is all about, we need to increase virtual RAM for the, just go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. I mean, view advanced system settings. Now go for advanced, go for settings, go to advanced. Now go for virtual memory, click on change and here go for custom size. The initial size should be the value and the maximum size should be this value. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here, go to system, keep scrolling down and go to about. If you don't know how to find the RAM, so this is how you can find. So 32 GB is the RAM. So I need to do the calculation based on this. So 32 GB is the RAM. Now I have to multiply 32 GB into 1024. Now into 32,760. So I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,158. That is the initial size and I have to go for the maximum size. Maximum size is 32 GB should be, that is my RAM. So you have to multiply RAM with 1024, that is the constant value. Multiply it with three because maximum size is three times the total RAM. So just copy this and I have to paste it as well and go for OK. And once after that, restart your PC and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. Next one, we need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing link in the description so just download the Visual C++ after downloading, just restart and try to play the game. And last and the least one is all about, you have to uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. And that is what you have to do. For uninstalling the game, just go over here, go to manage and uninstall the game. And once after that, try to play the game. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Star Wars is having these kind of issues and how you can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.